Hey guys, so this is a topic I saw on Reddit a few days ago and has been maybe not a huge problem, but has been a topic of discussion throughout the course of Destiny's life, and that is the use of damage dealing supers in PvE. Most damage dealing supers in PvE can feel very underwhelming at times. There's a reason subclasses like Night Stalker and Defender are so heavily valued in PvE content. It's because their supers are really effective. Shadow Shot provides crowd control and bonus damage, and Word of Dawn provides both offensive and defensive bonuses at the same time. Damage dealing supers aren't exactly hot right now, nor have they really ever been. Why? The biggest issue with damage dealing supers is that they don't feel very super when you use them on certain targets. Against low and mid tier red health bar enemies, damage dealing supers are really fun to use because you know you are going to kill those targets. Most of the time though it really feels like overkill unless you're using a super on 7 or more red health bar enemies, unless you're in a very dire situation. Against high tier major targets, so wizards, knights, centurions, and captains, damage dealing supers are not effective, or at least not very effective, because they don't deal enough damage to kill those targets outright, and those targets are arguably the highest priority targets that people should probably use their supers on. Now does that mean supers should be buffed to be able to kill those major targets with one super? Not necessarily. First thing you might think is to just buff supers to be able to kill those targets, but I think this would be too powerful. If one golden gun activation could take out three major knights or centurions or something, I think that would be really strong, probably too strong. The same goes for Nova Bomb or Fist of Havoc. If these could kill large groups of majors, then it would just be ridiculously strong and you would lose a lot of the panic that occurs when you have multiple major targets spawn. They're supposed to be a very significant threat, and given how easy it is to generate a lot of orbs in PvE, with very high damage dealing supers, these wouldn't be a threat anymore, and Bungie would have to probably buff health pools on majors to make them a threat again. That makes them very obnoxious to use guns against, and no one wants that. Some things do need a damage buff though, like the Hunter Supers. I seem to recall someone saying you deal more damage with a Sleeper Simulant headshot than you do with three Golden Gun shots, and that could definitely use some adjustments. Arcblade is still absolutely pathetic as a damage dealing super in PvE. It has a very short duration and is maybe able to kill one major in its duration if you spam the ability as often as possible. An exotic sword is significantly better than an Arcblade super. I can use Raze Lighter's uppercut ability twice and take out the major knight during the Oryx encounter in half the time that it would take me to use Arcblade to kill it. Hell, the only time Blade Dancers were useful was in Prison of Elders in Year 1 to resurrect people because they could go invisible. I don't really think of Blade Dancer as a medic. So what could be done where damage dealing supers feel more powerful, but not too powerful that they would just eliminate strategy from the game? One thing I wouldn't mind seeing or at least experimenting with is having supers deal more damage to single targets, but then dealing reduced damage to multiple targets. If I use Fist of Havoc on one major high tier target like a knight or a captain, that target should probably die to that. But if I use it on multiple majors at the same time, it wouldn't kill either of them, but rather just deal very high damage. Damage would continue to be reduced depending on how many majors or high tier targets are hit, up to a cap to the point where it should still be able to kill what it can kill now. This way, if you do have that oh crap moment, your super would actually do something in that moment. The same would apply to Nova Bomb. The trade-off is that you kill that one target that's a problem in exchange for your super and very little orb generation. Is that too much of a buff? In theory, it doesn't seem like it, but in practice I obviously don't know what the implications would be. What about stuff like Hammer of Soul, Golden Gun, or Arc Blade? These aren't one and done supers, so what could we do to buff their damage against individual targets? You can have it so hitting a target with one of these abilities will increase the damage of a follow-up attack via a debuff on the enemy or a buff on yourself. So you throw a hammer, the target is debuffed so that the next hammer you throw at that target consumes the debuff and has the hammer deal increased damage to that target. It could work the same way for Arcblade. You swipe a target, it is now debuffed, and the follow-up swing consumes the debuff to deal bonus damage. The reason the debuff would be consumed is because if you made the debuff a duration-based effect, you would essentially buff super damage on these supers by a significant amount, and I don't know if that's exactly what needs to happen. 
I didn't want to go too overboard with the damage buff, but that idea of a duration-based effect also works in theory if that's what needed to happen to buff the ability. Golden Gun I wouldn't mind working slightly differently than how it does now in terms of damage. I think there are a couple of things you can do with Golden Gun. You could have it deal increasing damage as you shoot more shots, or you could start the damage high and have it decrease over time. This depends on how you typically use Golden Gun. If you're looking at it for boss damage, then either way works. If you're looking at it for those oh crap moments, you'll probably want to start with high damage assuming that damage was high enough to one shot a major target. Although. I don't think the situation needs to be as complex as I'm making it seem. Either way, Golden Gun damage feels like it could use a buff in some form. I left off Radiance from this list because I wasn't really sure how to classify it. It is a super, but it's a super that makes your grenade and melee able to be spammed a lot. I think Radiance buffing your ability damage against minions of the darkness would be a good start if it did need buffs but I don't play Sunsinger enough to have a solid opinion on that right now, but it does feel like it can maybe use a slight buff. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the state of damage dealing supers in PvE right now. Overall, Defender and Nightstalker continue to be the best PvE subclasses because they offer your entire team bonus damage, shields, and crowd control, as opposed to just doing one big burst of damage. The burst of damage is rarely effective enough to warrant using over the other abilities, making them less than ideal picks for the harder content in the game. Damage dealing supers feel like they need a slight buff to make them feel more super than they are now, but not to the point where it's just an instant win button. Feel free to post your own suggestions in the comments below for what you'd like to see done with the damage dealing supers in the game right now. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.